Hello, all of you beautiful humans. Welcome, 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 welcome. If I seem like I'm going a little bit faster, it is because in my last video, I totally forgot friend mail. I have friend mail. Yes, I do, because I have friends. Yes, this is from Joker Gal 55. Hey, girl. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Now, I may have a little bit of a hint that of what might be in here. I did not expect it to be this big, so I am excited. Let's get to it. I hope everyone is doing well. Like I said, I just totally forgot I was doing another video, and I just totally, I forgot. So, okay. I'm going to open the box. This is what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Joker gal, what did you do? Now I am calling her by her handle because I do not know if she wants her real name exposed. So, and normally that's what I do. When I speak to someone in a comment or something like that, I will call you by your handle. If your handle's your name. That's really cool. If we speak in email, I will use your real name. I don't, you know, I, I just don't know if everyone wants their real name out there. My name really is in April. Ah, just kidding. Y'all thought there for a second. What's this bitch's name? No, I'm kidding. Oops, did I say that? I did. So here I have what looks like a letter. And, um... There's some handwritten. Okay. I because as I don't really like to divulge the letters, you know. Everything is beautiful when it comes to people that write cards and letters. And I think that's personal kind of thing. Y'all know. But she does have a couple of pages in here explaining um explaining the history of Tiffin Glass. Now, I'm not going to go into it because it is a few pages long. And I am super excited. I'm excited to read this. So let's see what Tiffin Glass is. Let's see what it is. Okay, now the first thing I see is a rolled up something. So I'm going to undo. This is so cute. I love this. This is so cute. And I see Joker Gal 55, she won the Timu Terrarium. Now, I don't have a way to show it, but she sent me pictures of what she did. And it she integrated it into a whole fairy wall she's done in her house. And it is gorgeous. It is a fantasy land I want to step into. It is, I mean, it is so amazing. And I was so grateful to be able for her to show me what she'd done. And just great. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, I don't want to go like way into it because it's like private, right? But the terrarium was not the only piece. The terrarium was maybe a little bit of a centerpiece, maybe kind of. What she had done was just amazing. I think cascading vines and all kinds, all kinds of happy little mushrooms and beautiful fairy doors. I mean, I can't even, I can't even, but use your imagination and think, yes, it was gorgeous and I loved it. I'm so happy that she sent me. Okay, this is like heading paper. Um, I don't know. It, the paper feels, it's got a feel to it. This is the paper and I didn't want to get too close into it in, in case this has something to do with her and her family, but the feel of this paper is awesome. So how about you tell me what kind of paper this is? Cause I'm excited. Oh, wow. And the heading is like, it's like it's embossed on there, if I'm even saying that right. This is so exciting. I love this. Almost feeling like I should have probably put this on my mystery box channel. But that's all right. 
this. I love this. And I, I love this. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. I don't even know what all this is yet. I just know. Okay, so we have a something in a little bubble wrap package. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is a hair clip. This is a pretty. Let me, where do I open it? There you are, you little sucker. Nope. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to cut anything important. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And I know that she is such a supporter of this channel. And she's been such a an amazing human with the kind comments and everything like that and the support. I mean, I, I have said it before. I, I feel like I've got the best tribe in the world here. And we are all just amazing. So this is what it looks like. Look at those pretty flowers. This bottom part is kind of tangled, and that's what I was looking at. I wanted to untangle it, but I don't think I'm going to. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, I'll need to untangle it because it opens this way. But look at those flowers. Aren't those pretty? This is going to be gorgeous. I love this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That is so pretty. Okay, she packaged this awesome. Make sure nothing was hurt. Okay, these look like stickers that are, st oh my gosh, they're like stickers that are stamps that look like stamps, that are mushrooms. She knows I love the mushies. There we go. These are so cool. So cool. I'm excited when it comes to getting the ephemera for junk journaling and stuff because yeah i am so excited to do that and then we have some very cute little stickers look at this happy little mushy very cute very cute making sure my microphone is still on oh my gosh oh my gosh joker gal what did you do okay so here is one and the front says labradorite and it looks like it is in its own little package. It is. You package these beautifully. Thank you so much. Oh, these are gorgeous. These are so gorgeous. I can't even see it yet. I just know that I've never had one of these, like, packaged before. I've never. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Let me get it open. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Oh. Oh, and it's magnetic. Is it magnetic? What did I just do? Oh, it is. It is. It is. It is. It is. Okay, okay, okay. That scared me. I thought I thought I'd done something look how pretty this is look at this labradorite look how gorgeous and it is so cooling on my skin so we all know what that means not that it would matter if it wasn't i don't want to sound like some kind of snob i love this this is gorgeous this is super gorgeous i love this thank you so much Oh, that is so pretty. And I love, love how it is magnetic. That is so beautiful. Joker gal, that is so beautiful. Thank you so much. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. What great energy. Great, great energy. And then she has it in these beautiful little pack. I love this packaging because then I can keep it nice and safe. And there is more in here. This one says Jasper. Right on. Right on. 
Oh my goodness. This is really gorgeous. I am literally just tearing into this right now. Just, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Y'all make gorgeous jewelry. I love this. Because, yes, yeah, she did make this. She did make this. Let's get this. And they are all magnetic. Look at that little. Look at that. I feel so like I feel so special. I feel so special. I feel so special. Thank you so much. Look how pretty. I mean, this is just gorgeous. Look at the tree. Oh, wow. Is that a tree or is it a butterfly? Oh, wow. And there's wooden. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Those are trees. There's another one right there. Oh my gosh, that looks like a dragonfly, maybe? Wow, these are amazing. This is just gorgeous. These are just gorgeous. I feel so special. Like, I feel, I don't know, I don't know. Look at that. That is so awesome. And still... There's a couple more in here. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> I love the googly eyes. This one, it says rose quartz. Oops. Trying to be careful. I don't want to cut anything important. And I love those googly eyes. I do, I do. I do, I do. So this one is Rose Quartz. And you know that those googly eyes are go along with these little these little tags right here. Yep, they're going in my ephemera box. 150% lady. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This is, this is gorgeous. This is gorge, gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Look at this. The silver accents in between. I love that. Look at those gorgeous stones. This is just beautiful just beautiful oh i love it i love it i love it and the sizing is perfect the sizing is perfect so thank you thank you thank you and you will definitely see me wearing these for sure in my videos because oh those are so pretty gosh the shine the shimmer the the i feel the positive energy that is just gorgeous coming from these. Whoops. Get it in there right, girl. Oh, just gorgeous. And I love these boxes. Okay, here we have... Oh, wow. Oh, what did you do? Oh, Joker gal. We have what looks like a wrapped stone on a silver chain. And it is just, did I say gorgeous? Let me say gorgeous one more time. Oh my, and it's a longer chain. Let me see. Oh, and it is magnetic also. And it's magnetic. I love it. Look at this. How pretty is this? I love it. I'm going to put this on right now. 
so easy to put on so easy to put on with those magnetic closures that's why i keep getting bags of them because they help so much this is gorgeous i love this I can't tell what kind of stone is inside, but honestly, it doesn't even matter. Just the energy, you know, that you put into this, the positivity, the, the, I'm trying to think of the sharing energy, good vibes, good, positive, happy vibes that you share. Put that over there because I'm wearing it. And I, she has, there we have this. We have this. Let me take this. Okay. Joker gal, you have just made my day, made my week. Thank you so, so much. The thought of having, not just the thought, but like the thought and the, the feeling that you put into you. And I believe your sister, you said your sister makes the bracelets. And so I'm not sure who exactly made them, but all of the positive energy that you have put into preparing and making this gift for me is it's not overwhelming it's just very very um i'm very grateful i'm very grateful let's just say that i don't want to get all teary-eyed and everything because i just have too much makeup on for that okay I don't want to hurt anything that might be in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is gorgeous. I love the frosted. I love frosted glass. I love frosted. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. And I have been looking for a new goblet to put onto my altar. And that's where this is going. To where this is going. And this is only, only going to be for one thing. Because I have others that, you know, where I put rainwater and things like that in it. For different type of energies and manifestations but this is gorgeous this is so gorgeous everything is gorgeous we'll see if i can pick everything up and like you rock joker gal you rock thank you thank you so much I love everything. I love everything with all of my heart. It's even so much more special that it comes from your heart. And I know I will read about that. So is this what the paper was talking about with the glass? Do y'all want to hear a little bit about this glass? I do. So I'm going to set this preciously right in here. And let's take a little look-see at what this says. What did I do with my glasses? Oh, okay. So Tiffin glass. This is what I'm guessing because I do believe it is the only thing that was glass. I know there were stones in here. But this says in July 1888, it was announced that AJ Beauty, AJ Betty and Sons Glass Factory of Steubenville, Ohio would be relocating to Tiffin, Ohio. AJ Betty had been negotiating B E A T T Y B D had been negotiating with various communities for more than a year to establish a site for the new factory. The city of Tiffin offered five years of natural gas, thirty-five thousand in cash, and land valued at fifteen thousand dollars. Construction of a three furnace gl glass factory at the corner of Fourth Avenue and Vine Street began in September eighteen eighty eight. And operations commenced on August 15, 1889. Early production capacity was reported to be 500,000 pressed tumblers per week. A.J. Betty, B.D. and Sons merged with the United States Glass Company on January 1, 1892 and became one of 19 factories of the large corporation. The Tiffin factory was designated, was designated Factory R. 
On May 23, 1893, less than two years later, Factory R was destroyed by fire. The fire was rebuilt in Tiff. The, <laughs> the factory was rebuilt in Tiffin in return for two additional years of free natural gas. In 1958, serious financial difficulties arose within the corporation, resulting in the sale of the assets to a New York investment firm. Business conditions did not improve, and a second sale took place in March 1961 to Brillhart Plastics Corporation of Mineola, New York. In 1962, bankruptcy occurred. However, the Tiffin factory remained open until early 1963. In that year, four former employees, Paul Williams, C.W. Carlson, Jr., Ellensworth, Ellsworth Beebe, and B. Platt, bought the plant and renamed it the Tiffin Art Glass Company. Incorporation took place on May 1st, 1963. The startup date for the new Tiffin venture was September 16, 1963. This transaction marked the end of the United States Glass Company. A great loss was incurred on August 3, 1963, when the glass port factory was destroyed by a, tor by a tornado. Nevertheless, business improved with $2 million in annual sales. I'm sorry. I'm just looking to see it because I don't want to. I don't want to be like boring y'all with this. This is very interesting to me, but I don't know if it's very interesting for you. But I'm going to go ahead and finish reading this because it is interesting to me. Um, okay, so we have the history of the Tiffin glass. So we did two million in annual sales on June fourth, nineteen sixty six. The company was sold again. This time to a major corporation, the Continental Can Company, in exchange for 6,462 shares of Continental Common Stock. The company was renamed the Tiffin Glass Company, Inc. During these years, stemware remained the major focus of production with blown and pressed ware also manufactured. The factory changed hands again when it was purchased in December 1968 by another large corporation, Interpace, the parent company of Franciscan Shenango and Mayer China Company. It continued to be known as the Tiffin Glass Company, but in addition to using the gold Tiffin Shield sticker, Interpace began to use a paper label, Franciscan Crystal, which they placed on selected stemware lines in May 1969. This practice continued for two years. Interpace introduced several new stemware lines to coordinate with their China dinnerware patterns, Jubilation, Canterbury II, Flambeau, Revelation, Madeira, and Cabaret. The Tiffin factory furnished a variety of stemware patterns to numerous companies for private distribution. As early as 1930, Tiffin was providing tableware to the Sears and Roebuck and Montgomery Ward companies. Oh, my grandparents loved Sears. I mean, Sears, I, I think there are still some Sears stores open, just not very many. And Montgomery Ward companies. And they continued to provide stemware to various retail outlets through the 1970s. Among these companies were Tiffany's, Macy's, Colony House, Royal Medallion, Nancy Prentice, American Manor, and Reynolds Crystal. American Manor and Reynolds Crystal were subsidiaries of Interpace Corp., parent company of Tiffin Glass, 1969-1979. During this 10-year period, stemware in several new colors was introduced to coordinate with Interpace's Shenango, China. On May 19, 1979, the factory was sold for the last time to Towel Silversmiths and operated as Tiffin Crystal, a division of Towel Silversmiths. The furnaces were shut down on May 1st, 1980, the date considered by collectors to be, end, to be the end of the Tiffin Glass Company. The outlet store and a decorating shop remained open until October 1984 when the facility permanently closed. Towel later donated the factory and land to the city of Tiffin in exchange for a $1.1 million tax write-off. Million dollar tax write-off. 
The city offered the property free to any company that would bring a hundred jobs into the city. Unable to find a tenant, the city demolished part of the factory in late December 1985 and January 1986. Towel continued to sell Tiffin glass stemware via mail order, inclu including the popular pattern Palais Versailles, Palais Versailles through at least 1990. After production had ceased in 1980, the molds were dispersed and Russell Vol Vogelsong of Summit Art Glass Company of Ravenna, Ohio acquired the Tiffin Shield trademark mold. The Tiffin Glass Collectors Club subsequently purchased this mold in 1991. To date, the logo has been reprodu reproduced in five colors, pink, cobalt blue, red, plum, green, and yellow, some with satin or iodized finishes. Over the years, Tiffin Glass products were identified by means of various paper labels. This mark was used intermittently through the 1970s, also during the 1970s, some products were marked by the application of an acid stamp of the Tiffin Shield trademark. So, in the 1940s, three major changes took place in the use of tableware by the American public, resulting in these traditions. Crystal stemware regained its popularity over colored stemware. Fewer items were produced in each stem line, and to a large degree, China replaced the use of glass tableware for table settings. That is awesome. Thank you for that history. And I do believe that she is speaking about this, which is totally gorgeous. It is told like I like I already said, it is gorgeous and it has it is it has already found its use. And so I love learning about pieces. I love learning about things. Um well that wasn't good. Okay, so what I am going to tell you is that Joker Gal uh, put in this letter that because she knows that I love the vintage, vintage type things. And she, okay, the company was in her hometown from 1888 to 1980. So this was a piece of her hometown history. Joker Gal, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So that even more so you know the heart that has been put into this 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 friend mail it's amazing and i love it and her mom worked there until or both of her parents worked there her mom worked there until it closed and they made Tiffin glass for the White House, Elvis, several Arab sheiks, and President Ronald Reagan commissioned a set made for Queen Elizabeth. The glass I sent is a piece of that set. They made a few extras and my mom was given a couple since she painted the gold on them. Okay, and so the paper that we saw is included this letterhead sheets from Javi Crystal, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, one of the main owners of the Tiffin Glass Company. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say except for thank you. And that is awesome. And that is amazing. And I will cherish this forever and ever. And just know that it is in a happy place. And it, like I said, I don't even know what to say now. I... I don't even, I don't even, the bracelets, the glassware, the story, the history. Thank you so much. This means so much to me. Um, you're amazing. You're an amazing human. And you have just, you have just emulated. And I feel so... I, I don't even know. I don't even know. But I am so grateful, grateful that you are here and that you are part of our tribe. And you're an amazing, amazing person. Thank you so much. Thank you. And to everybody else that is part of this tribe, it, that has been, you know, your continued support, your love, your compassion. 
your comments, your stories, everything. Thank you so much. I this this channel means so much to me. You all mean so much to me because without you all, there wouldn't be me all at all. <laughs> Did I say that right? I don't know. I'm emotional and I'm kind of really I'm like I don't even know what to think that there are people out there that think of me this way. And so um yeah. Thank you so much. I love every single one of you, Joker Gal. You you just you you rocked my boat, girl. And uh thank you. And thank you to everybody else so much. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. And please, until next video, please, please remember to be kind humans.